What is going on, everybody? Bobby Five back here for my five plays in five minutes. We're also going to cover a real quick breakdown of what I like on the slate. Um, got some golf videos to do. Got some stuff to update on the site. So it's uh, it's kind of a hectic day. So we're going to try and get everything together at once. Reminder, you can sign up for True DFS for free for the first month, 35 a month after that. Uh, Sheets of Sheets have been absolutely crushing, uh, as well as, you know, a bunch of people doing really, really well. Somehow I have been a little bit on a cold streak in baseball, but we're going to turn that around tonight. Um, even with all this great information we have and all this great stuff from Sheets, especially, uh, just been a little bit of a struggle. So let's get to it. Here's who I like tonight. Uh, I really like Tyler O'Neill. I think that he's probably my favorite Cardinal. I love the Cardinals in general against Will Crow, who looked god awful his last time out, and I think is really going to struggle here tonight against the St. Louis team that is not one that I generally love for full stacking, but I think it makes sense tonight. You could just as easily say Dylan Carlson, Harrison Bader. All of these guys are excellent plays in the outfield, and I think that they're all priorities for me to get into some lineups and uh, probably stack up the Cardinals as well. Next, we're going to talk about Vladimir Guerrero. Guerrero has been the best player in baseball against right-handed pitching. Uh, you get him against the Angels tonight in an unusually warm weather game, 81 degrees at game time for the Angels in uh, L.A. Uh, against Bundy, I think this is a great home run spot. I love the stack of the Blue Jays, and I think you can do it a lot of different ways to get a little bit off the board. There's a lot of good stacks tonight, but the Blue Jays stand out to me as being one of my favorites specifically for home run upside. If you don't like them as a stack, one-offs, two-mans, three-mans, that's what I would be doing. Next favorite play on the team would be George Springer, but I think you can just as easily go over to Guriel and Dickerson and T. Oscar and Simeon. I really, really like the Blue Jays tonight. I expect them to have a really nice game. The next one's going to be with some weather concerns. I'm going to mention the entire Brewers, uh, obviously in the big win game in Oakland, I'm sorry, in uh, Chicago. They uh, have the highest projected run total on the slate. I'm going to talk about Ra Rowdy Tellez as my favorite uh, play. I, I, I don't mind that he's, if he gets a little further down in the order, maybe keeps a little bit of the ownership off of him. They raise his price to 3.6. Maybe that does. Arietta has been getting crushed by left-handed pitching all year. I expect the Cardinals to, I'm sorry, the Brewers to have a big game here on the Cubs who have kind of given up the season on the season. Uh, Tellez, Yelich, Narvaez being my favorites, but I really like Tellez at the discount at first base because it's hard to get these guys in with the pitchers you really want tonight. Next, we're going to talk about Corey Seager against uh, Kyle Gibson. I actually am always on the Kyle Gibson is much better than everyone thinks he is train, uh, but Corey Seager at 4.7 on DraftKings 3K on FanDuel, um, I think is just too good, of a, too good of a price for a guy who's heating up, one of the best hitters in baseball, a huge stadium upgrade for the Dodgers playing in Philly. So love Seager tonight, love the Dodgers, but they are not my top stack because I do believe that Gibson is decent enough. However, I will have some mini stacks of the Dodgers. In that same game, we're going to talk on the other side of it. I really wish we could get a, a big Philadelphia lineup. I would be happy to stack them against my Dodgers, but we don't have Hoskins. We don't have some of the big bats that you really want. We don't have McCutcheon, obviously. So uh, my favorite bat in this game is Rio Muto. His numbers versus left-handed pitching for his career are phenomenal. He's my favorite catcher on the slate at 4,400, just ahead of Narvaez. They're right there with each other. But I love Real Muto on both sides. You can play him on FanDuel at, at I think, what will be fairly low ownership at 3,700. But I love him to possibly go long against David Price tonight. I think he's a really good play. The pitchers I'm rolling out are mostly going to be Burns, Manoa, Gaussman, and Montas. And my favorite stacks in order uh, as of right now, St. Louis for value on DraftKings. Uh, overall, I like Toronto uh, for the home run upside the most, even though, again, Bundy can surprise us and, and throw a gem when we don't least expect it. Um, but I, I really do like the, uh, the Blue Jays to hit a few home runs tonight at least. Uh, I love Milwaukee. I like Detroit. I like Baltimore. I like San Francisco as a really, really like, I don't want to say sneaky, but like it's Merrill Kelly and you can definitely take advantage of slightly warmer weather in uh, San Francisco than the summer, than usual summer games there. But there's a lot of good stacks in the slate tonight. So you can really mix it up however you want and not have to worry quite as much about ownership with the exception of some of those Cardinals guys being really high owned. Some of the uh, uh, Orioles being high owned because of prices. You can really uh, mix and match and do whatever you want. If you are going to pay down at pitcher and try and get more of the bigger stacks in, I think Tyler Anderson and uh, I actually think that, that, you know, I can make an argument for Bundy to get really weird, but I don't think I would go there. I think Tyler Anderson and Tariq Skubal would be, make the most sense, but I really like paying up for pitching on this slate. Uh, Burns, Manoa, Montaz, Gaussman are my favorites. Anyway, guys, I hope you all crush it tonight. Um, for everyone at True DFS, we appreciate how much you guys have been following us. We appreciate that Discord has been on fire. So come on and join. If you haven't been in there yet, that's still free. And uh, yeah, good luck out there. I uh, hope you all crush it. And we hope to see you at the top of the leaderboards tonight.